wonder what this button does. Whoa. Now that was cool. Hey guys, Depug here, and today I am back with another Minecraft video. <coughs> today, I'm here to show you wave machines. Now, I've got three of them here. I just wanted to start right into the video. <coughs> I've got three wave machines. I've got this one, which is a 10 by 10 rainbow <coughs> concrete wave machine, and then I've got the massive 30 by 30 rainbow wave machine. <coughs> then I've also got my small little one over there. That this is the one that I designed myself. These two right here are all remakes of my own design. Well, kind of like a mix of Mumbo Jumbo's design of a wave machine and my own design of a wave of a wave machine. So I'm gonna start out with mine. So we've got right here. This is the slow setting. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the slow setting right here, and this is the fast. So if you stick it on slow mode... This is eh, kind of satisfying. Usually, you would probably use this for, um... If you were to make, like, an ocean. Is what I was trying to go for, is making it kind of look like a wave pool. This is the fast setting. This would be probably for an ocean. Now tell me in the comments below if this is satisfying, because I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, you, it still kind of pushes you back like a regular wave would. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and the redstone is really easy that I did. It actually uses, um, it only uses some of these which each go like that and then also um, a redstone clock for the fast and slow setting these right here are making it so then it goes every one tick so it's each one tick away so basically how it works is that observers it will detect that which then will update this which will then this observer then sees that update, which then goes and pops out a um, piston output. So there's that one. Oops. Now, as you saw in the intro, you actually saw this one working, but I will demonstrate it again, just in case. Well, right before the intro, but still. Now, this one is satisfying. I really think it's satisfying, mostly when I'm like this, if I'm just right here, in a way, because you can't already see all the colors, but basically how it works is that these pistons then retract, dropping the blocks, which then they're also timed at the right moment, and down here is the timing circuit purples the timing circuit for this which then goes and then powers all these pistons each one of them at a different time <coughs> well not exactly a different time because these two are exactly the same time but anyway <laughs> um so that then the concrete falls and then it is bounced up over to here right before this piston extends again which then makes it so that it flies. So here's a demonstration of that. If you didn't see it, I'll do it one more time. So, yeah. And then this one is extremely satisfying. This is basically just the same exact one. Even though I just went and I cloned this over and over again. This is a 30 by 30. Same with up here, I did also clone that right there. a little bit laggy but it, I mean it still works and yeah so 
that's all I have for you guys. This was I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing in my testing world so far. But I will see you guys.